Good morning, everybody. It's Rhonda. Uh, this morning, we are going to be working on stickers. Uh, stickers that you may have created in MidJourney, Dolly, any one of your AI generator um, platforms. I'm going to be showing you how to um, turn them into sticker sheets in Photoshop. All right. So if you're new to my channel, uh, again, I'm Rhonda, and I create videos with uh, easy tips, fun tools, and generally just lots of inspiration to help you turn your creativity into profit using the power of AI. I also have a private community, the Prompts, Profits, and Sales Design Club. It's a community where I share daily AI-powered prompts for trending designs, um, creative strategies, and tips to boost the sales of your digital products. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, I'm going to leave a link it down below in the description so you can check it out. So without you know any further delay, we're going to get right into the video this morning. Now, like I said, we are going to be talking about stickers. And I have created several sets of stickers in my design in Mid Journey. And now I need to edit them so that I can sell them as a sticker sheet all right and the way we do that is in Photoshop okay and I generate all my stickers on a colored background just because that makes it easier for me during the editing process if you generate your stickers on a white background you are going to have a little bit more problem uh, selecting your sticker in general all right, so we like to do the colored background just to make life easier. All right, so what we do is I first upscale my image and then I bring it into Photoshop. And then the first thing we're going to do is select our magic wand tool over here on the left. You can click on this and then right click to make sure your wand tool is selected or just hit W on your keyboard. All right. I also have my add to selection option ticked up here at the top. I have my tolerance set to 10. Anywhere between 9 and 11 is usually good. I usually err right in the middle with 10 and then I have the continuous box ticked as well. Make sure sample all layers is off. All right, and the first thing we're gonna do is just go around and select the white border that is around all of our stickers, okay? See how I'm just going and ticking on each one of these and that is going to select our sticker outline and we're gonna look and make sure there's no areas that it missed and it all looks good so we are going to go control J on our keyboard all right and what that did was made a copy of just our sticker border you see that okay the next step is still having that layer selected, the new one that you just copied with your white border. Now you're just going to go back and click on the center of your stickers. Okay. We're going to select everything in the middle, the sticker object or subject itself. Okay. And once we do that, we are going to go to select, modify, and expand. All right now I've already upscaled my images so I am gonna select five for my pixels and I'm going to hit OK and all this does let me zoom in here a little all this did was make sure that this area we selected in the middle comes out into the white so we don't have any missing parts of our sticker between the subject and the border, okay? So once we've expanded our selection area, we're gonna select our original layer now, where our stickers are. 
and again we're going to click Control and J on our keyboard. Now what that did was made a copy of our sticker itself. So let's turn off our border and our bottom layer and you can see, I'll zoom in, you can see we have our stickers the subjects they are all completely selected to now All right, so we can turn back on the border and we can delete that bottom layer All right. and now if you've already upscaled like I did these stickers are ready to go okay so let's move on to the next one here we have another page I'm going to zoom in just a little so you can see better. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to select the white border around each sticker. Just like that. And we are going to go Control J on our keyboard. And you see there is our border. And now, making sure that that layer that we just created is selected, we're going to go back through and select the center. And the reason we do this while the second layer is selected is because, in essence, what we are doing is just selecting that empty area inside the border. All right, which makes getting our sticker a lot easier. Okay, now again, while that layer is still selected, we're going to go to Select, Modify, Expand, and again, I've already upscaled my images, so I have ex I have chosen five pixels. If you haven't upscaled, maybe uh, one or two pixels is good enough. Okay and then we will click OK and it has again let me zoom in so you can see it has just taken our selection out a little bit into the white which is exactly what we wanted now we're going to move our selection down to the original layer and control J once more and if we turn off that bottom layer now you see our stickers are all selected and they are ready to go alright so that looks good we can now delete that original layer and our stickers are ready and the reason we do this is so that if somebody wants to print these stickers out um, the outline is right there for them. You're going to save these on a transparent background. You do not want to give it a background. We're going to merge the layers and I'm going to save this in my sticker tutorial as a PNG file. Men and I'm going to show you real quick when somebody opens this when they buy your sticker sheet and they open this in their cutting software whether it be for a Cricut or a Silhouette whatever this is what will happen this makes it so much easier for okay let's open this one and you can see here this imported and put the cut line right around the sticker where it should be. You see that? It's all ready to go. They don't have to do any tracing or editing or you know trying to figure this out. It's all there for them. The machine knows exactly where to cut. Had we just downloaded or had we saved on a white background it would be a lot more difficult. Let me show you. All right, let's merge these two. OK, 
okay? Or let's flatten this image. When we flatten it, automatically gives it a white background, okay? <coughs> Excuse me, I am dealing with a cold. So we're gonna save this with a white background. And we're gonna do women. And we're gonna open that in our cutting program. Now you see there's no red lines. It did not give them the cut lines. So what someone would have to do now is break this image apart, they would have to trace it, and they would have to come up with their own cut lines, which is not what you want. If you are selling, selling sticker sheets, you want to make sure that your customers can cut this easily, all right, without having to go through the hassle of tracing or anything like that. So remember, we always save on a transparent background. So we're gonna get rid of that. And what we will do is merge these layers rather than flatten them. Okay, so now once they're merged, now you can save it as a PNG with a transparent background and it can easily be used in any uh, cutting mean software. You know, Cricut, Silhouette, Brother Scan and Cut, there's a ton of them out there and you've now made you know a handy sticker sheet for your customers. All right. Now if you want to create a sticker sheet of a certain size like I like to make my sticker sheets uh, four and a quarter by five and a half, which is a quarter sheet of US paper, okay? So what I'm going to do is I will take my lasso tool and I would come in here and I would grab, would copy, and paste that into a new sheet and I resize and line them up however I wanted to. I'll do repeat the same with the next sticker. Oops, it selected both of them that time. That's because I didn't get rid of my first one. All right, select none. Okay, let's grab this one. And that's because I have my add to selection up here. So I would probably turn that off for this next step. And move these around. And size them how we want them place them how we want them and you can build whatever size sticker sheet you want you can also just cut these out and save them as their own image uh, let's do it this way all right let's do X file new paste her in there and you see it is a single image and we would file save a copy let's save her as let's make a new folder here single stickers put her in here one okay and you can just repeat the process over and over X control n we'll paste her in get rid of the background and again save her go and I will be 
I am going to save a few more of these and then I'll be back and I'll show you how to make a contact sheet with all your stickers on it. Okay, so I have a folder here now where I saved um, 12 different stickers. I wanted a combination of the women and the men, all right, and now I want to put them on one sticker sheet, all right. And the easiest way to do that, I mean, I could, let's close that, I could create a new file that is, let's go here, um, four and a quarter by five and a half. I could do that and then just drag these images in and place them where I wanted them. But there is an easier way, all right? And I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's close this and close this. And I'll show you. You go to File, Automate, Contact Sheet. Okay? And we will choose the folder where our stickers are. All right? Sticker Tutorial single stickers that's where the stickers that we want put on our sticker sheet are located the size of our document is four and a quarter by five and a half 300 dpi and we can choose there's three columns across and four rows of images let it use auto spacing you can also rotate for best fit um, I don't think that's necessary, but you can turn it on if you want. And once you have that, your folder selected and the size of your document selected, just click OK. And it will find that folder and bring in all of your stickers and put them on a single sticker sheet for you. All right. Now, um, the only catch to this is, is that all your stickers are going to be the same size, and if that's okay with you, that's wonderful. Your sticker sheet is done. You just go down here, get rid of that background layer, and you have a transparent sticker sheet that we can save. And let's save this in here quick and I'm going to let it as contact sheet and we're going to save that and then I'll show you what it looks like in the cutting software for your crickets or silhouette machines and how it is ready for your customers to print and then cut. You see it has the cut lines around each individual sticker and they are ready to go. And that is exactly what you want when you are selling stickers for people to print and cut. And even for digital stickers, it makes it easier for them to select a single sticker and use it in whatever way they want. Alrighty? So that is how you Take your sticker sheets that you have created in Midjourney or Dolly or Kittle or wherever and take them through the process in Photoshop to have them ready to be downloaded and ready to be used. All right. So if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments. Uh, members of the Prompts, Profit, and Sales Club. I'm going to have these prompts for you today along with this video, so keep an eye out for those. Alrighty, guys, I will see you next time, and I hope you have a great day.